guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm caroline and it is officially fall in my mind and apparently trader joe's so i do have a fall trader joe's haul for you guys so i went to the one in east cobb because usually they're better than the one in roswell and actually they're okay so i think i'm gonna do this video in like two parts so i'm definitely gonna have an outfit change halfway through this video because i'm gonna show you guys what i got today because it's still like early mid-September and then I'll probably go in the next week or two because I'm assuming they'll have more then. So let's go ahead and get started. Please subscribe if you haven't already and get this video a thumbs up. One of the many things I love about Trader Joe's is they have a ton of gluten-free items. I've definitely had other stores have gluten-free items that either taste like cardboard or they somehow still make me sick even though they're gluten-free. So my two favorite things are the gluten-free pumpkin bread and baking mix or muffin baking mix. So what I like to do is I do the muffins and usually just because it's easier to eat and take to go to work and things like that, but I always put chocolate chips in it. I will say that the chocolate chips are a big game changer. This is not super sweet on its own, so I like to add that. So I actually went ahead and bought three of these for right now, just knocked over some other stuff. I definitely stock up on these because they don't expire for a long time. It expires, I think that says June 15th, 2022. So I definitely stock up before they are gone. And then another item I love are the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. I like to actually do waffles with these. And again, I like to add chocolate chips into anything. So this stuff is really good. Also, they usually have a gluten-free cornbread mix. They only bring that back in the fall. It's not year round. They didn't have it yet, which was upsetting because it's so good. It's like a sweet cornbread and you just put like raspberry jelly in it and it's seriously so good but those are definitely my favorite baking items so far for fall. Then my husband drinks a few cups of coffee every day and he loves these. So Trader Joe's pumpkin spice coffee medium roast. So he got two of these. I'm sure we're gonna get more over time, but yeah, he says these are amazing. It says naturally flavored with cinnamon, clove, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. If I drink coffee, honestly, that does sound really good. I think this is new last year, maple flavored sea salt kettle corn. This is really good. If you love kettle corn, you'll definitely love this. It's not over sweet, not overpowering. It is seriously so good. So one and a half cups is 150 calories. It has 14 grams of sugar, which is like kind of a lot, but that's okay. And what I like is the ingredients are pretty straightforward. It's cane sugar, hot corn, coconut oil, maple sugar, sea salt, and natural flavors. So not that bad. It does contain coconut. If you have any allergies, that's like the only allergen in bold. And lastly, for this little haul, don't worry, I will be back with more in the same video, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> but I got the Trader Joe's, I keep saying Trader Joe's, like clearly this is a Trader Joe's haul. Am I okay? I don't know. Pumpkin pie spice. I actually haven't tried this. I think it's been around for a couple years. It's cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. I kind of want to smell it. Ugh, I don't want to ruin my manicure. But this looks really good. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna put it on. Anything, I don't know. Anything and everything would be really good. Ooh, like an um, iced chai tea latte at Starbucks. I get the iced chai tea latte with almond milk and then the pumpkin cold foam on top. And they have something like identical. This kind of bone inside to cut me off, but the pumpkin cold foam has like something like this sprinkled on top that is really good. So I'm excited to see what I can kind of put this in over the fall. Wish me luck that the next time I go to Trader Joe's, I find way more stuff. They did have the pumpkin body lotion, the pumpkin mask. Oh, and the pumpkin vanilla candles. Those are pretty good. I don't feel like they spread throughout a room enough, so I don't buy them. I just do like the Bath and Body Works, which I know is like toxic and stuff. Um, the candle did smell really good. I just don't think it spreads enough, but Hopefully in the next week or two, maybe like late September, they'll have more stuff. Okay, I am back. It is a new day. I went to a different Trader Joe's a few days later. I actually got it yesterday and I put a bunch in the freezer. So that's why some of it is clearly frozen. Let's go ahead and get started. I will do kind of like miscellaneous real quickly. So the Brazil nut body butter is back. I'm telling you, it is such a dupe for, let me grab it. It is such a dupe for this. This doesn't firm, I don't think, but like, does this actually firm your body? I don't know, but these smell so similar it's insane this is 5.99 this is 45 dollars so definitely get this when you can i got two of them just in case and i'm very happy with that i'll probably get more if i see them next time i know tiktok like really just made them viral and they're really hard to get but they are back and then i also got this pomander room spritz it's, it's with orange mandarin cinnamon and clove oils this was a dollar 99 this smells just like constant comment black tea if you ever had it, it's, oh, it smells so good. It's like very strong with the orange, but it's not like overpowering. I will say 
this like the scent kind of goes away pretty quickly when you spray it but this just reminds me of childhood so much because we sell that tea all the time especially at my grandma's and stuff i still drink it to this day so this is really really good and then the rest of the stuff i have is food so i think this is new this year it is the pumpkin overnight oats rolled oats with pumpkin puree and spices it is gluten-free this i already had one this tastes like the inside of pumpkin pie for real it is so good very similar texture i love this stuff i love the mush overnight oats it's just so good definitely pick this up it's made with water pumpkin puree date paste rolled oats almond butter cinnamon sea salt and nutmeg really really good definitely check it out if you love pumpkin pie then I got the pumpkin butter. This is, I don't think I've had this before, actually. I'm assuming it's gonna be like, what is that stuff that I love? They have it at Flying Biscuit. It's like that, I don't know. Basically, same thing. I think it's gonna be like that. It's pumpkin, sugar, honey, lemon juice, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg. That sounds really good. I feel like it'd be really good on just like toast or maybe on like a charcuterie platter, like kind of have it on the side but that sounds so good you could either do like peanut butter and this sandwiches would be so good then the next few things i have are gluten free because again i'm gluten intolerant so next i have the pumpkin spice bagels these are so good i did get a few of them i just put them in the freezer they taste very similar honestly to plain bagels like i wouldn't say that the pumpkin is very overwhelming so definitely check this out if you like pumpkin but you don't love it it's definitely like not too much so really good they freeze really well and lastly, I got the gluten-free pumpkin bread. This, I think, is new. I've never seen this before. Soft pumpkin bread with warm spices. I don't think it has chocolate chips in it. I wish it did. They should add it next time. Trader Joe's, if you're watching. No, but really good. It's about eight servings, 190 calories per serving, three grams of protein, 18 grams of sugar. Okay, that's a lot. Whatever. I put this in the freezer, too. But that concludes my fall haul from Trader Joe. Okay, it just came to me, apple butter. I think this will be very similar to the apple butter that is at Flying Biscuit, which is so amazing. I wonder if they sell that. I really should look into that. But anyways, that is all. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.